SLM1 is an interface I developed to control and interact with machine using the iPad. And by using SLM1 to control sound parameters and effects parameters, you can do things with machine that would be really difficult, if not impossible, to do otherwise. And this makes it a really great tool for live setups and for recording sessions when you want to do a whole lot of stuff at once. So here we have the SLM1 interface. At the top is the group selector that allows you to choose between the eight different machine groups. And then below that are the controls for each group. Other things we have on there that are really important is the zeroing button, which are below each of the faders and to the lower right of the XY pads. And what those allow you to do is take a value and quickly set it to zero. So if I have a reverb going and all of a sudden I want to stop that reverb, I can zero it out and it's done. I also have memory buttons in here. So zeroing allows you to quickly jump to zero. Memory allows you to jump to any point, really. Here I have them set to 100, so quickly I can jump between 0 and 100, so on or off for something. And I can also change where that value is, so here it's at 67%. And you can change that as you go on, so say I want to change it to 38%, I can push the save button, things turn green there, and when I push this, the save point is moved down here, and you can see that with a little white dot. So now I can choose between 0 and 38%, and I could change that at any point, say I want to go to 79%, just reset it. The same thing goes for the XY pads. I have a save point here, but if I want to move that somewhere else, I can move it and then quickly toggle between zero and that or something else in that saved point as well. SLM1's been a huge part of my live setup for the past year or so. It's allowed my sets to get way more complex. It's allowed me to do things I couldn't do before. And it's also made playing with machine live even more fun.